Good evening and welcome to Scrapbooking with a Twist. This is from leftovers to layouts. This is a, um, I guess a hop, you would call it, that um, Kristen is doing at Scrapbooking on the Fly. And so I thought that fits me just fine because I'm trying to use my stash. I'm trying to be on a spending freeze, have not done very well with that. But it's this is right up my alley. So I this is Easter Sunday, and I'm going to talk more about that in a minute. But this is Easter Sunday evening. So I thought I would just go ahead and I have this Echo Park, actually two Echo Park uh, collections that have a lot left. A lot of stickers, not a lot of paper, but a lot of stickers. And I thought that's a good thing to try to use and get onto a layout. So this is Echo Park um, Celebrate Easter. I pulled some stickers off of it. I've used a few. And so I'm going to be using this sticker sheet, some stickers from this sticker sheet. So that's my, um, those are my leftovers. I've got some scraps. Some of my things are kind of limited by how much scrap I had left in them. The three papers that I'm going to use are this one with the bunnies. The back side is really neat. It's got these plus signs stuck over there with that. And then these, these papers, this one and this one, which the back side is Easter eggs, and this one. They're all from um, Echo Park Celebrate Easter. So anyway, those are the papers I'm going to use tonight. The pictures are of an Easter egg hunt that had to be moved inside. You can barely see out there, but it's pouring down rain. So we moved it inside down a hall into some classrooms. This was their little Wednesday night church Easter egg hunt. And it got moved in, some cookie decorating, some other activities, but it all got moved inside. That's what we're documenting tonight. So I did do some cutting and started a little bit of stuff. I am going to use, um, this is peeled paint that I'm going to use on this paper. And then I didn't really, I had spun sugar, but it just wasn't enough. It was too light. And so I brought in um, close to my heart, and this is bubble gum that I'm going to ink the pinks with. And then on these bunnies, this was from the... Um, some of them were stickers and some of them were little thin chipboards in that Echo Park, those Echo Park collections. And these little white bunnies just disappeared. And so I tried inking them, but they're kind of, they're kind of glossy, not really, but kind of, and the ink just didn't stay. So I took my tri-marker, my Spectrum Noir tri-marker, and just the light one in this bright pink, and just went around the edges like that. And it really brightened them up and they do stand out against that. So that's what I did. I like, so they aren't necessarily what I, yeah, I think that's good though. Would have cut them if I'd have had bigger scraps, but we're gonna go with it. I'm going to, um, kind of what I visioned for this is sort of like a, almost like an L shape, I think. We'll see if that happens. I think this is just going to kind of be a sticker mania, and I don't always use a lot of stickers. I use more die cuts and things like that, but on this one, I wanted its leftovers to layouts, and that's what I had left over, so that's what we're going to do. So I want to get this on here. So anyway, I'm definitely going to ink the edges of this just to kind of contain it. While I'm doing this very quickly, I'm going to, I said I would mention that this is Easter again. I'll very quickly do the twist. The twist tonight comes from John, um, let's see, what is it? 14.6. And I, I don't know, I may have done this one before, but it says, it's the scripture that says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. And I thought, I, like I said, I may have done this one before, but it's Easter, and so I thought it was just very fitting to do that, that there's just no other way. But Jesus in this scripture says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father but by me. 
his death and resurrection defeated death. Satan's goal for us is to destroy us. And because Jesus died on the cross and was raised again, he defeated that. It's it's gone. It's defeated. And Satan knows that. And so he's hard at work to deceive us and to draw us away. But Jesus says, you know, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So if he is the only way, then some of the things that the world is telling us are just not true. You know, there, the world would tell us, you know, if you're just good enough, you're going to go to heaven. Or if, or there are many, many ways to go to heaven. You just need to choose one of them and, and get on that path and, and you'll be okay. But that's not what that scripture says. That scripture says there's only one way and I'm it. You know, I remember that game show. I can't remember the name of it right now, but you know, at the end, the, the final contestant, there were three doors or curtains, I think it actually was. And you had to choose one. Was it door number one, door number two, or door number three? And Jesus says in this in this scripture, there's only one door. And it was a door to an open tomb where he had arisen and that there was no other way. And so that's not the truth. The world is not telling us the truth. The world is is deceiving us when it says that there are other ways to be with the Father, and of course to be with the Father's to be in heaven. And so just keep this scripture in mind that there's only one way, and that way is through Jesus, through the cross, through faith and believing in him, and there is no other way, and that's the truth to this one. I don't really know what all I'm inking here. I'm just inking the possibilities Sorry about you having to watch the inking and just listen to me ramble, but let's just get this really quickly and then we'll see what we're going to do for a layout. Let's see what we can put together. Like I said, I just feel like this is a sticker explosion, but that's the point to use the leftovers here. So let's just see what we can get on this layout. My dog went outside and now she's barking at the squirrels. That's her favorite pastime. I hope she doesn't, I hope you can't hear her in the background. Okay, so I've got some of these just scraps that I really want to try to work in here. I had a, hmm, what did I do with it? I'm amazing how I can lose things. I did pull this off of there and I put some foam tape on it because I think I need it raised up just a little. I think what I want is to kind of come down and across here. And I had these little eggs, this little cluster of eggs. And I had some bunnies that I thought I might tuck in behind those. And let's see what else we've got. Get those maybe kind of tucked in there. Get them. Just trying to make some clusters out of all of these leftover stickers and chipboard and all of this stuff. So I think something with the bunnies right down there. I've got, um, let's see, let's get this up here. That's going to be up there somewhere like that. I've got... Um, some greenery that we could toss in here, maybe, possibly, or not, I don't know, maybe actually on top even, maybe like that, and toss a piece in over there maybe. So that's kind of where I think I'm headed down here. I think this is really bare looking though. almost don't have enough of that green kind of thinking I inked this thinking that because these pieces were kind of small thinking that I might have to use it just to get a full frame over here I think I had another piece of that there it is that was longer 
Let's see if that one works better. Yes, yes, that's the one. So I was thinking I might have to do that. Okay, all right, let's get this down. I've got my journaling that I thought I might put right up there. That needs to be inked. It looks like I started it and didn't finish it. So I'm gonna get this journaling. I then I'm gonna try to work on a I'm gonna do kind of a title cluster over here in this corner. Okay, that got that inked. This is actually one of my little grandsons, but no, I don't mean it's, well, it is kind of his bottom, isn't it? Didn't really mean it that way. It's, but he's not totally in the picture, so I'm really not covering anything up when I overlap this. So if I get it right in the right spot, I'm not covering anything up of him. I didn't really mean to state that just exactly like that. but And then I have the let's go on a hunt, and I liked it. I don't know. And there's a lot of empty space in that picture. If I pull this down so that they overlap, so that it kind of is all one, like this cluster down here, then this one, and then this one was kind of what I was thinking. I don't think this one needs to be inked. This looks plain. I've got, I think I have, I thought I had, got some vellum over here. Let's see if we stick a piece of this vellum in under here, what that looks like. Yes, I think I might like that. Yes, I think I do. Let's I think it needs just a tiny little bit. I think that other pink is too much. Let's do a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of maybe the sponge sugar on this and see what that looks like. very lightly just so that we can see that there's an edge there to realize this vellum's even there. My dog, I, she is terrible. If she, It's almost dark and she's still barking at something out there. I hope she does not bark through the entire video, but something tells me she's going to. shouldn't have. Let's see if we like that. And not a whole lot of it'll show, but just those in-between parts. I think I'm going to leave that. I think I like it okay. I don't know if I can get that up. That's good up there. I may just... I'm just going to put a little tape runner under where I know something's going to be. There we go. Okay, that's better. Now let's start getting our little critters in under there. I want that one, and then I want the little one next to it. To 
We want the big one on the outside and the little one on the inside. And then the greenery. Or do we want the big one on the inside? That's the way I had it at first. I think I like the little one on the inside in the greenery. So let's get our little critters in there. Back in behind the eggs. Just, I go back and I put some liquid glue. I, I, I glue these things down better later, but for now, that's, I just want them down so that I can know that that's where I want them and then I go back and kind of secure things better later. Let's get some of that greenery right in there. I've got another little piece of this greenery I thought I might just stick right up over here. Okay. All right, so let's leave that for now. We'll decide if we want to add anything else to that. And then let's move to this top uh, where I'm going to put my journaling. So I want my journaling up here. Uh, these are kind of the same shape, so I think they're okay to put together. Because there's plenty of open space, especially in that photo. I wish he was totally in this picture, but he isn't, and I can't change it, so no use to worry over it. Some pictures are just better than others, and that's the way it is, and so we we deal with it, but we still document. I'm, I'm going to have to figure out something to do if I don't like that, but I think with the picture and putting those two things together, I think that's just kind of how it's going to have to be. I kind of was thinking this little bunny because I'll end up with a bunny in all of the clusters if I put this little bunny there, but he definitely needs to be up on foam. And then we'll go from there. This is thicker foam that I grabbed, but it's okay. Just sitting right in the bottom of those flowers right there. Like I said, there's not a whole lot of creativity on this layout, but I'm kind of wondering if we might just build a little bit of something right there. I'm going to do it with this one in case I decide to use that one over there. I think just a little. Let's try that. We'll stick it in there and see if we like it. If we don't, we'll pull it out. I kind of threw together some of these stickers just looking at them. There was this tag. This is just a piece of scrap that stuck to it. My chicken and the, I'm gonna use this Happy Easter as the, as the um, title. And it was raining and so I found this. It was in one of those and I thought I might stick it in there. Just kind of just stick it in there to I hate to cover up all of her little cute flowers in her hair so stick it up in there I might try to pull some vellum in with this also and then I had this egg and I had it somewhere I kind of like the egg over there balancing that out but that egg is this is that's why I cut this off the bottom of those alphas I thought I might could just add something to this egg so let's see if we can do something there and kind of make this egg a little where you notice it more 
and it doesn't just kind of run into itself. It just kind of fades. Up. I did go around it with the pink marker, but that still didn't give it much definition. I think I'm going to have to use some glue on that. So here, we're committing to this. We're putting glue on it that's a real deal. No turning back when you put this glue on it. So I'm going to run that glue across there, and we are committed. I'm going to put probably three of these stripes on there. And there's no way I'll get them. Oh, that one's crooked for sure. No way I'll get them straight. But if I was decorating eggs, they wouldn't be straight either. So I guess it matters. Okay, there's one. Here we go again. Wonder if I'll get, come up with parallel lines. Just leave it and then we'll trim it when it dries a little better. Okay, one more. Maybe that'll help that egg look a little, where it's just not so plain. All right, we'll see, we'll see. All right, let's see if we can trim it off without tearing it up. We, um, after the Easter egg hunt and everything today, and we finally got home, we went over to my son's house, and we watched um, the first Left Behind movie. I had ordered, there's a, a trilogy, there are three of them, and they were made like 20 years ago, but um, the new one was out in the theaters like a month or so ago, and um, my friends and I went to see it. it was really good, but it's like the fourth one, and then there's three that were made like 20 years ago, and so my son and I watched it um, this afternoon, and we'll watch the other three, and then hopefully by that time, the that other one will be out on DVD, and we can get it, but it was, it was pretty interesting. Okay, so that's, like I said, I just feel like this is kind of a... Um, just a mania of of stickers. Not a lot of creativity, but a mania of stickers. I'm going to tear some vellum, just kind of a semicircle here. That isn't a very good semicircle, but... And I'm going to ink it, and I'm going to see if I can tuck that in somewhere over here. just to bring that vellum across and see if I can. This is kind of rounded over here and I thought it might look good to be rounded a little over there. I don't know, just a thought. I think I will leave that. I've got some little flowers. I might put a flower or two on that. I think I'm gonna leave this. I do not have, I think I want pink ribbon in that and I don't have any. I'm gonna have to get some, so I'm not probably not gonna put anything in that today, but I will. I'm not gonna leave it plain, but I just, I do not have any pink ribbon, especially that pink. If I have any, it's gonna be just a real pale, and I want this brighter pink. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get some of this all glued together before I kinda of lose it. I am going to leave that vellum there. It kind of, I think it kind of ties that in. Just get that little end of that umbrella, and then I'll just stick all of these down all at once. 
try to get it where I think I want it. You know, it never fails when I go back after I've finished a video and I go back and I'm starting to look at it and do things. I look out, oh, I ought to do this and I ought to do that. I never, I nearly always do something else to them. I never, I seldom ever. I wish I had some of that at different levels, but I don't. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fret over it. It is what it is. I've got these little flowers that I thought I might just stick around over here in this big cluster. Just give it a little, just something. So I'm not gonna do enamel dots or anything like that. So I think I'm gonna leave, I'm, I think I'm, I'm gonna let that, I'm gonna look at that a minute. And then I thought down here on this, I had an, um, these little bitty Easter eggs and I thought I might give that some dimension with them. And I've got this little chicken and I was thinking about putting him down here and I may have some more chickens, but I'm kind of thinking at this point that I may put him with this. So I've got chicken, chicken, rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. I don't have a chicken down here if I do that, but you know what? We don't have to go by any rules. And then I think I'm gonna do something with some of those little eggs to go across this. So let's let's try one of these and just see what we've got. And I don't trust these when they get this small. I definitely want a dot of glue on them. There's just enough sticky on, left on the back of that that it does not want to be picked up with my jewel picker. Come off of there. There we go. So let's see if this looks cute on top of those. Yes, I think that adds a little to it. And that question, this one is a little bigger. Where do we want it? Okay, let's put the bigger one in the middle. And then the two smaller ones on each side. There. We'll do it that way. Okay. I still feel like this is not good. I have also, this is some washi tape. And I was thinking that that might be kind of cute peeking out from under there. So we may, we're going to look at that a minute and think about it. And I've got quite a mess going over here. But this, I wish I had, I had some of these flowers, but I don't know what has become of them. Let's see if I can find them over here in my mess. There they are. There they are. Nope, that's not them. That's another little piece of green that we can use somewhere though. Here we go. Let's play with these. That would cover up that paper. So maybe we don't need that little thing of paper and we just need these little thing of flowers. That kind of ties that corner to that. I think I like that better. Now we could stick this in. let it go all the way up. No, we need that all the way down if we're going to do it, which I do like that, but I don't have any more of that paper, so I don't have that option. I like that all the way down, and I would have done that, but I don't have any more, so that's not an option. That's not an option. So, even though I do kind of like that, Do we want him just peeking out there? Let's trim him down and see. I'm 
trim him down and we'll see. You know what? I think I'm going to leave him. I really wish I had it, but I don't. So, but I think I'm going to leave him. I think I'll just throw my, well, no more of that went. Um, but I do think I'm going to leave him there. That little rabbit. I could put a little flower with that if I want to. There were some more flowers somewhere that did. Some of these have those real white edges, and I don't like all of that white on the edges. And then some of them were um, were better that they didn't have all that white. But there may have just been those three. I don't know. But I think I'm going to leave that. I actually think I'm going to leave that. I'm going to undo it so that I can wrap it. Actually, I don't have to. I can do this and then leave that. Even though that's the only place it is, I still kind of like it. Like I said, we don't have to abide by rules. I think, though, I'm just going to run it to the edge of the picture and not all the way across like that. I think that's it. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave this alone. It, um, I definitely, definitely <laughs> turned some leftovers into a layout. I kind of feel like I had a sticker explosion, but um, it's okay. I'm not, it's, I kind of like it. So I think we're good. Let's see if we need this instead of down in that corner, if we need this up here. No, we're going back to the corner. So I think that's it. I think I'm going to call it good. I'm going to, um, I'll show you some close-ups here in just a second. Like I said, I'm sure once I get to playing with it, that I will find something else that I want to add to it. I certainly have a mess going on here, but I don't have very many scraps left. <laughs> That's Here's what I had left in scraps, and then the full page over there, and the scraps that I'm gonna use for a different layout, but that is it. I will get, I'm gonna put a, some pink ribbon there, and I think that is what we're gonna call done. So just some close-ups to Kind of give you a look at it and I think that's going to be it for today. I hope you had a blessed Easter and that you um, enjoyed your day with family and worship and whatever you do and just had a blessed Easter. We certainly did. So thanks for joining me. Uh, if you would give me a thumbs up just to help me grow my channel and tell other people about our channel and I appreciate you and thanks for stopping by.